Ah, how are we doing guys? It's your boy Prof here and you thought I forgot about this game. I know it's been a while since we made an episode on Final Fantasy 16, especially mind that uh, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth is out, which to be perfectly honest, I need to complete Final Fantasy 7 to, to do that. But where we're off is deliver the pitch to Opulus, blah 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 blah. Now oh, yeah. I remember now. I remember. Don't worry, guys. I remember. I, I know where I'm going, sort of. Not really. I have no clue at all. But how are we doing, guys? Yeah. So, on this one, we're going to do the cork and ball and then the gathering storm. Where we used to be with Gav. Because as you remember, last episode, we defeated uh, the <clears throat> Mother Crystal on... Um, that thingy, I can't even remember where it is now. Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Well, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Oh, badge of might increase the top tap power by 12 nice let's have a look at that where is it where is it it is we'll just hang on gears and icons uh increase ignition damage evasion slows are like that increase the burning blade we'll have a look the griffin's head braid we've already got that equipped Plus one, increasing the damage plus 12. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. No, 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 no. I'm not going to touch that. Yeah, you you, you cut that wood. Good, good work, guys. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Clive is on the way. Taking the elevator. Aha. Uh -huh. Boom. How you doing, wifey? Gav should be back by now. Gav should be back by now. Uh, is that what you're going to say, huh? <gasps> naughty, naughty. Of course Gav's back. I can see it. Uh, the icon above his head. Ah, Clive! Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words be ruled, pal Gav? <laughs> If it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. Well, the two nations beat their shields. The rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals.
Four mother crystals remain in storm and ash. Drake's breath near Iron Home. Drake's fang in Darmekia. Drake's spine in Walud. And Drake's tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that, then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handful of I was going to say, Gabs just realised now. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? <laughs> And now we're off to Drake's breath. Let's get it. Oh, okay. Count is now open. Okay. Completing the line report defeating the Taurus found in our hunt board and Clive Renown, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the twins to donate money or items to Clive's cause. Visit defence at the patron's whisper in the hideaway mess to view current renown level and accept any donations. So I'm just moving the mic stand, so bear with it. Because it's like sort of in my way. I need to get a new one because I don't know, like, hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. I got the mic stand off Amazon. It sounded like it was only a tenner. I mean, it's not. It weren't too bad. It clips into the actual desk itself, which is we waiting for really indeed. quite nice actually. Um, what are we on? Eight minutes. So how we feel about just main quest progress? Right, Fendrin. Blah 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 blah. Release. Right, so how do we feel about if we just do, uh, well, Fruits of His Labor is there. Eh. Eh. There you go. So we'll just have a crack at this. We'll go first go to uh, Chadon. Is it business or pleasure? Go I'm going on, to then. browse your things, love. That sounds really, really bad. I'm just going to browse the things, don't worry. How many have we got? I've got 24,000 gil. That's not too got bad. That there we go. Not out else? You think it's there all right to go. Touch what do you need? Oh, so he seems a bit better then. You've forgotten already. Been a lot of battles, mate. Oh, I thought he was going to just... Because I haven't. Not that if there's anything new for those of us who put the old hideaway together. Still, that don't mean I intend on doing it again. I'm saying for you, dear. Oh. Oh, we need... So we got Coral Sword. Da, 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 da. Oh, how much are you? 
Should last you a good while. Yeah, no, no, give me all of your stuff. Give it to me. Uh, let's have a look. So everything's down. No, that's it, mate. Cheers. Cheers, big ears. See you later, alligator. All I really say is that they don't really care about us. People know the truth. Do 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 do. Da da hoka honey ah da. Hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Of course, why not? It'd be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. We'll just do that first, see? Well, we'll see where that takes us, actually. Uh, two baskets of Martell's apples. Right, let's get rid of the... Is it literally just there? Deliver the apples to the hideaway curse breakers. That's absolutely fine. Boom. So, I'm kind of glad that this, this little side quest is not too long. Um, I would love to just get on to the main missions, but just exploring this game, you would... Like, oh god, I've gone the wrong way. Uh, just exploring this game, it, it's just mad. I, I'm really looking forward to uh, actually doing... Oh, I love Toggle. Come here, Toggle. Leave the kids alone. Let me, let me show you love. Love me. Um, but yeah, like I, I'm really looking forward to... I've got... I think I've got... Yeah, I have. I've got all the other Final Fantasies. Uh... Let's see, one, two, like, the old school versions. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girls in the furrows? Of course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> Aye, and brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Oh, bless. Others weren't so lucky, though. Right, let's see what... Uh, caught in Curse Blaker. Okay. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. <laughs> sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. 
Planning on keeping that uh, lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? Not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Mm. Yeah, we'll just quickly do that. It's only just, it gets us to know the hideaway. Well, hideaway 2.0. Well, yeah, that's what it does. Yeah, I get. It's, I, I sorry for sometimes if I pause, my brain, my mouth needs time to catch up to my brain because I've got so many thoughts going through my head that I just, my mouth gets so tongue tied, and I just like don't know. Go on, you strong man. Yes. The pants look so pretty. <gasps> so pretty. It would be a shame if someone destroyed them. <laughs> Uh, I'm a menace like this in real life, not just like on videos and stuff like that. Do 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 do. What was in here? Oh, it's just more of him. Yeah. Nah, that tree is beautiful. I got a little um, cherry bonsai. The curse breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her. After all these years, I don't think I they could forget. She was very kind, even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Awesome. But yeah, as I was saying just before, I uh, then uh, I clicked on to, to chat with him. I've got um, my other half gave uh, gifted me. Uh, cherry blossom bonsai actually um, uh, on the site called bonsai direct it came from Mount Fiji and it's just blossoming now so I got it uh, August last year and I was so worried because of it was just like had a few green leaves and everything else it's about uh, about five years old and it's just blossomed its first uh, it's it's white so it's a white blossom but it's still goddamn beautiful it's only one right now but there's another i counted them there's another 15 buds growing that are just ready to go and oh it's gonna look so beautiful when it's done she really is i call her jinze Let's do this mission now. Journey to Hawkeye's Cry Cliff. What am I doing? There we go. There we go. So we head there. We do have everything because I've done everything. We, don't, we can't reinforce the new sword we got. Yeah, so we can't reinforce the new sword we got. We're just going to have to go as it goes. Southern Rosaria. 
Me, wifey, and Torgo. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I think Torgal's about to grow and change. No, he's found something. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? To destroy it. After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. I swear this game's just like watching a movie. I've just got my chair leaned back all through the cutscenes, just chilling. Bloodlines. I swear I can How wish Torgal now. How far do you think your reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. There we go. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Porter's Older. We can <laughs> and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. I was going to say I should be galloping. No, we're just going to run through. All I want to do is collect that. Bye. Bye. Jump. Makes it ten times easier riding a chocobo. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> Twould be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There's barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the Miller's son? Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, the Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The black shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. What with their hundred full legions? All right, let's see no, what this merchant much, has. But what's mine is yours, for a price. Let's see if I need. Aha, I knew it. Much obliged. I thought I had all this, there but I didn't. Are. Whoa. Instantly. No, I don't need that. Much obliged. There you are. You won't be disappointed. There we go. I suppose we won't be seeing you again. Don't, I don't need the elixir. We're going on oh, for help. Oh, Dougie. How do you like that, boy? 
There was a time my husband might have stood up to those men. But back then... Good old chest, 10 spools of silk. Okay, so... Oh, I'll try talking to the village. Well, villagers. Let's see. Word is, you. the court is sold us, closed our gates to all but the highborn, and now a great... Run along now, before one of the boys starts thinking you're something... Aha, you. In the house, go on. Must be blind or something, guys. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The black shields, just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I think there was a black shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. <laughs> if only we were. I might have turned them in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? Us? I don't know. Well, I understand. We it's like, it's that. a hard, troubled life. That, like, you have to make do with what you got and strive to survive. Friend. We are travellers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here. But your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Vicerine's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. I can understand that as a leader of a little village you want to look after your people These make sure they survive to their throat. in the mistaken belief that if they cooperate my mother will show them mercy obedience bought with fear are you all right sorry i it's nothing we still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? Your brother? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? I would Perhaps say Joshua. The village will yield more answers. Perhaps. When you? Like Joshua, at least, because he's a firebrand. He's like the dominant of the Phoenix. Yeah. I love this. It makes it's it so much easier. Mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Ever since the Apollo Tree, we've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking them? That's. The mother crystals collapse. Do that. I have an idea. Why aren't you? You're not going to like it. Oi, 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 oi. Boom. Ignition. So I had a bit of a trouble figuring out the controls again. I was like, why, why ain't the controls doing what I say they want to do? Right, let's call Chocobo again. I, do you know what? It's really bad. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot this Chocobo's name. That is how long it's been. Oh my god. That was mad. 
in all fairness, you got to admit, that was mental. Just picked up all of them in, the, in a group and just went, uh-uh, not today. Uh-uh, not today. Oh, I love that. I love ignition. <clears throat> Such a bless. Such a cool. Let's go. Such a cool ability. Faster. Faster. Uh. Wee. Oh god. Oh. All right. All right. right. What are you weak to? Are you weak to ignition? I'm obsessed with it. Doom. Chest. Need the chest. I'm slowly getting used to the. Um. Oh, what's it? Um, the sort of play style again. I'm, I'm just sort of used to like Fire actually Ambrosia. locking on. Oh yeah, Ambrosia. I knew it. Right, let's get off here. Boom. Boom. Let's get collect them. There we go. Yeah. There we go. You should be dead now. Oh, oh, oh my god. That attack was naughty. There we go, Toggle. Nice, Toggle. Nice. Get in there. Gotta bing, gotta boom, gotta bing, gotta boom. Doing not too bad. Doing not oh, hi. Ouch. Great for stun. Six. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six. I love that. A such a cool attack. So what does that do? I, for I forgot what that does. Hopefully it doesn't attack me. Yeah, that's that's, that's alright actually. I know after a while in a straight line, Clive will sprint. Blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these, our swords we swear. And on my Say sword. And on my sword, pokey poke poke. I'll show you a true shield of Rosaria. Ah, oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. Ignition. Come here. Out. And now we go. Come here. Damn. Cloud ain't messing around, man. Let's go. Well, oh, you missed me. Go. Ravage. There we go. I'm, I'm hitting no one right now. 
There we go. <laughs> no, I don't this actual attack does, but yeah. Right, they're all gonna die now. Ignition. Sorry guys, I'm a bit quiet. Just getting these guys dead. Are you dead yet? Yes. Mission again. Boom. Look at that damage. Oh my god, that is naughty damage. Let's do gouge again. Boom. What do we get? Enemy slain. Nice. Can't come at me, boys. We got one right and bloody hide. We need some of them to actually get the craft in as well. Now they're gonna do the interrogating. Tell me what I want, and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why you? We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <laughs> they await you in Ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Let's go. Old Hill. Bloodlines. Make for the Old Hill docks. See, uh, eventually you start sprinting. There you go. That's a bit better. Oh, yep. I forgot. You need to hold R R2. something boy death This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. That the is... Black Shields have made it this far south. They may already be in Port Isolde. 
Wow, that is full on. That is, that is, that's just disgusting, man. That's not very nice at all. Like, just leave the people alone. Like, Cl Clive's mum is a bit nuts. Well, more than nuts, psychotic. Oh. Dementor's brace thingy. We'll just have a little look around. Because obviously there's going to be some hidden goodies in here. In the town of death. And hang bodies up on spikes, which is just vile. Absolutely vile. It's not right. Really, really ain't. Anything in here? Can't, no. Oh, yeah, see? It's always good. Always good. Remember this. No matter what game you play, it's always good to have a look around every nook and cranny. It could be a Soulsborn, it could be an RPG, it could be flipping um, a 2D flipping pixelated game. Uh, you could be playing on an emulator, anything. Just look around the area, you never know what you might find. It could be a thing that saves you from the next box bo boss fight. A hidden item that gives you extra power, a hidden item that like gives you a second chance of life. Once you get down, see gob goblin coin. I don't know what that is, but it's a goblin coin. We will sell. We will sell it or give it to a merchant. Like, is this valuable? Please let me know because I picked it up in a chest on a dock with a load of dead people around it. It was vile place. It made me upset, so I decided to ransack it. So what I mean, like that's just oh naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Yeah, shoo, shoo, bird, shoo, shoo, shoo. I will chase you, and I will hurt you, and I'll go. Wah! Oh, I was pressing the square as well to go <laughs> to try and find it. Um, but yeah, like like I said, it could be a a, a a special item that gives you a second chance once you go down. Like all your health is depleted and everything else, and then boom, it could be like one that will have the elixir sort of thing, just restores your health fully. So, uh, we are going to end this episode here. We've made it to Ordal. Seen the death village, which is kind of disgusting. Ah, Togo, let me have a hug. I'm upset. No, 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 no. Let me have a hug. Oh my god, Togo. 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 Get it, boy. <laughs> Yay. Okay, bye, Togo. Why are you backing away from me like he's scared? I, you love me. Why are you being difficult? Oh, I swear, some animals just born to be difficult. Uh, but yeah, we're going to leave it there. Uh, if you like what you see, hit that, hit that subscribe. And on the next one, we will continue on Bloodlines and make it to Dragon's Breath. Hopefully. That is the plan. But yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.